Welcome back to Living Local. The Last Picture House offers audiences a refreshing experience miles away from the multiplex. And here to tell us all about it are two of the visionaries behind this new joint and local hero, Scott Beck and Brian Woods. How are you dudes? Doing well. Doing great. Excited to be back in the Quad Cities for Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm so yeah. happy that you guys are here. This yeah. is so great. So let's talk about the last picture house, man. Mm -hmm. like, so what made you guys want to do this right here in the Quad Cities? So, I mean, we grew up in the Quad Cities in Bent North. We started making our movies here as teenagers. And every Friday and Saturday, we'd find ourselves at like the Brady Street Cinema or the 53rd <laughs> sure. Cinema. And uh, the last picture house really is bred from that idea of like going to the, the cinema and seeing mm -hmm. a movie on the big screen, yeah, um, but with the community. So like the last picture house is very community focused for us. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's more, yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, it's yeah. just like it's a, we love movies movies so much and, and yeah. the love of filmmaking and movies is infectious and we're trying to spread the love yeah. and this community like Quad Cities is it's a movie town like every time yeah. you drive past the multiplex the the parking lot's always full and we felt like you know there's space for mm -hmm. for a new for a new theater in town yeah. yeah and it's more than a movie house though that's it's a very different kind of experience right yeah so the last picture house it's very handcrafted um, Brian <laughs> myself and our other partners Pete and Christy and Jens were we're all you know putting our ear to the ground of what's sure. working what's not working mm -hmm. we want to make sure it's a home for the quad cities um, we have two screens there we have one screen that seats 150 people balcony wow. seating 35 millimeter Dolby Atmos which is one of the best sounding theaters we've ever uh, sat in and then that's you know us having mixed at like Skywalker Ranch for instance <laughs> um, but we we have a, a social lounge so even if you're not seeing a movie you mm -hmm. can come down for a drink or some food and in the seasonal months hopefully like next April we'll open up our rooftop where we have a giant screen there yeah. you can watch a movie underneath the stars right next to the Mississippi River there I love that and what I love about it is you can see the movie and then kind of sit and chat about it which I know that I've yes. done countless times with friends of ours yeah. and we used to go to like Village Inn or something exactly. so yeah. hey you're gonna put Village Inn out of business <laughs> great so uh, so what's playing over the next few weeks what's what's there yeah we're doing um, you know it's like our theater is all-encompassing right uh -huh. like Scott and I love all different types of movies so in the soft open which is happening right now you can watch a big blockbuster like the Hunger Games and really feel the size of the screen yeah. in our main auditorium mm -hmm. and the great sound or you can watch some cult classics like The Last Dragon, we've got The Last Action Hero, the yeah. Schwarzenegger film that we grew up with as kids, um, The Last Picture Show, which is part of the namesake of our, of our theater, the Pogdanovich um, masterpiece. Um, so it's an eclectic group of films and, yeah. and moving forward it, it'll be big first run movies but it'll also be really cool um, independent films that maybe the multiplexes yeah. aren't showing. Um, yeah. We remember when Parasite came out, that was one of the great movies of the year and you couldn't see it anywhere in town and, and that's a shame yeah. so we hope to be bringing some cool movies to town that you might not be able to see anywhere else are you hoping to also kind of support the local film scene as well when you can absolutely I mean you yeah. know for instance uh, the alternating currents festival that happens every August that was something that was really exciting to us and we've been involved in years past and so yeah. finding partnerships with with an organization like that or other organizations even yeah. if they're not film or art centric but have a film that represents what they stand for we want to be open doors for for every everything of, of that design. So. That's insane, man. I love that. Now, this took a small village to make it happen, yes. so let's yeah. talk about who else is involved in this project with you guys. Yeah, so um, we have Christy Beck, who has been spearheading, my wife, who has been spearheading sure. so much of the design, uh -huh. Pete Stopulus and Jens Baker, who are responsible for so much development yeah. downtown mm -hmm. that have been incredible partners, and, and Pete's uh, grandfather, Jim Stopulus, actually used to run movie theaters all over the Quad Cities area oh, decades awesome, ago, man. so it kind of runs in his blood. Um, but Twin Shores Construction, which is based out of East Moline, mm -hmm. constructs uh, huge movie theaters across the nation, but never one in their own backyard. So this is the first oh, one crazy. in the Quad Cities. I didn't know that. So. That's so awesome, yeah. man. I love that. And it, it's so cool that you guys have so many people involved that are close to you and everything yeah. else. And yep. I guess, you know, what's that process been like, you know, watching it come together from afar? Because you were just in Canada shooting, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we just got back from shooting our new movie, and I, it's uh, it's so surreal. It feels so full, full circle. Circle when mm -hmm. where this movie theater is in downtown Davenport, like that's where we shot our movies, and we yeah. would dream about one day. Oh, if only like what if we, you know, could make movies and and open a theater here? Yeah. How cool would that be? And we're pinching ourselves. We feel so lucky, and this community, the Quad Cities, has always supported us. And like we couldn't have done any of this on our own. We always feel the love every time we have a movie yeah. come out. Um, people are really um, passionately supporting us and um, and and cheering us on. And, mm -hmm. and same with this project, we've really felt 
about the love locally, people, um, you know, propping it up and supporting it, and and we hope people come out and and love the space and and continue to give it their love. And it's we we, we think it's a really special place uh, yeah. for for movie lovers and just people who want to do something cool in the Quad Cities and are um, want to see something different. I just love that you guys are from here and now you're giving back to the area. That's so cool, man. Like you know, a lot of people kind of leave and then they they don't live it local, if you will. <laughs> um, so uh, you know, can you tease anything else that's coming up in the future? Yeah. So we're going to have our grand opening happening happening December 9th. Um, so okay. right now during the soft open, you know, we're just seeing what's working, what's not sure. working, and just yeah. augmenting it based on that. But grand opening December 9th, and then December 15th, we'll have a really fun event called the Found Footage Festival. I can't wait. Which is uh, these these two <laughs> comedians who uh, scrounge around the nation finding these weird, <laughs> obscure, hilarious VHS tapes and make a comedy show out of it. We've seen it in multiple cities, including Quentin Tarantino's Theater in New mm -hmm. Beverly uh, in LA. We're bringing it here to the Quad That's Cities. So, so cool. that'll be December 15th. Uh, so. I love that. And how can people learn more? The website, Facebook? Yeah, lastpicturehouse.com. Uh, you can go on there, read about all our offerings, our memberships, uh, the social lounge, and then social media where the last pick house on Instagram and Twitter awesome. and Facebook. Get a membership early because there's a limited edition of really cool metal membership cards. Only a hundred? Only a hundred, yeah. Oh, wow. Get a yeah. membership early. Uh, yeah. It's really cool. I know, I need to get yeah. back. <laughs> I will get it, I promise. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for making time on your busy humans and I wish you nothing but success and oh man, I'm so excited that you're Good. here. Good. Hope to see you down there. Thanks so yeah. much. Oh, 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 yeah. I'll be there. Don't worry. <laughs> for more information, you can visit thelastpicturehouse.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.